Don't laugh. Don't laugh. So, yeah, um, I got myself a Meggy Beanie. Why? I don't know. Was it worth it? Kind of, yeah. Was it expensive? No, not really. Anyways, um, get the intro. So what's going on guys, this is Nate and welcome back to another episode of Blank 3X. And if you saw from the beginning, yes, I do have a mega beanie. Um, I might wear it every video, who knows. Um, you can't put it with the headphones because it's kind of hard to do that. Now let's go put it right here. And today we're reacting to the um, first episode of Sunset Paradise. I know I am very late to this. It's just move my camera a little bit. There we go. I know I'm super late to this. Um, I can fix it later. I know I'm super late to this, and also episode 2 and 3. Episode 4 it comes out in like 2 hours, so I want to get these episodes out quick. Um, same thing with Marijuana, but I'll get that to the, another video. Anyways, this is started with this um, episode 1 plot from Sunset Paradise from Lich Productions themselves. Make sure to subscribe to them, leave a like, and comment down below. And while you're here, do the same thing, it's completely free. And yeah, let's just dive into this in 3, 2, 1. Alright. Heck? Whoa. Okay, first of all, love the animation. Second of all, what the heck is going on? This looks so good. you run, you'll never escape yourself. <laughs> Whoa. Well, this is a nice change. This is awesome. What the heck? Hey, attendant. Have we arrived yet? <coughs> well... Oh man, I love the expressions. Hello and welcome to your paradise vacation here at the wonderful Port Aurora. Port Aurora is not just a relaxing retreat, but home to the famous Phoenix Festival, due to commence in one week. Phoenix Festival, baby! Woo! Yeah! With absolutely no hidden evil or lurking danger to worry about, Port Aurora sure? welcomes you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. So long um. as they don't go out after dark, am I right? Oh, what's that? Oh, son of <laughs> Hey, wait. What was that about not going out after dark? Hey, I'm talking to you! Calm down, Maggie. The old stressed out you is back at home. Just leave it all behind. While you're here, you are. Vacation, Maggie! Nice! Clock on, 
Paradise. Okay, so hotel check-ins not for a while, so we should go to the beach, then hit the markets, then the ice cream. <gasps> ice cream. Oh man. Oh, a hey, ginger. Each custom is uglier than the last. Huh? I asked what flavor you want, little girl. Choice for kings! Twelve tullies. Twelve tullies? Price is price. Twelve dollars <laughs> for ice cream? Vacation Maggie, vacation Maggie, vacation Maggie. Oh my goodness. Twelve tullies it is. Excuse me! Excuse me! Deputy coming through! What oh, the? Not him again. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, Aziz. Go away, big boot boy. You are bothering people. As island deputy, it is my duty to bother people. If I could just <laughs> take my ice cream to go. Eh, just as I thought. Cart oil leaking everywhere. Is ice cream juice. Ice cream squid is how we make an old country. Oh! Ice cream very dangerous business. Not good enough, uh. I'm afraid. Sir, you are forbidden to continue your business until the listed <laughs> infringements are settled. Oh, fine. No yeah, ice cream for been... anyone. Hey! Give me my money back! No refunds. Blame the beauty. Well, that's great. Thank you for stopping that renegade ice cream man, deputy. Do you get a lot of crime here on this vacation island? Oh, you bet. I'd probably go through a booklet of infringement tickets every day. No skateboards on the boardwalk. Oh. Oh. And please, call me Ori. Ori. Hmm. Civilians always get scared off by the crime talk. Oh, well. No price gouging. No jaywalking. No public nudity. Nice. What are you standing here for? If you not buy anything, get out! Da hmm. How much for that one? Oh, good lord! Oh my... Um... Wait a minute! Wait, you sell ice cream? Okay. Impressive. <sighs> Not a bad first day. Sun, surf, and sand. The only thing it was missing was... The ice cream! <gasps> ice cream! Come on, stay open! Stay open! Uh... Can I have one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sorry, then. girl. No entry. We've got this place for a private party. Right, Spud Buds? Cease, vandals! Oh, oh yeah. Ah, here he is. Destruction of a dessert-based food story strictly against island law. I'm gonna have to come down hard on this. Hey, the punishment 
for damaging an infringement ticket is more infringement tickets. <gasps> My deputy mobile! We're late, boy. I am in agreement. You are incredibly tardy. I don't think you're allowed to say that word. We'll say anything we want, like this intimidating message. Tell him, Duke. Duke? Um. What? Present task at hand, you <coughs> glutonious dummy. Oh, yeah. We gotta kill you. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh! You're the vile kind of criminal, huh? Alright then. Regulatory framework for death! <laughs> Never bring a spear to a fist fight! <laughs> oh. I can't just leave him. He's gonna get really hurt. Nice. Hey! Tuber Goobers! Back off! Stay out of this, girl. We got plenty of unresolved anger issues to go around. What do you even want with him? He's just a kid! Hey! Kids can die just as easily as anyone else! Yeah. Oh, God. We're a non-discriminatory criminal organization. So we won't hesitate to hit a little girl either. Right, Duke? Right. Oh, no. Oh, Listen, no. Maggie's going on vacation. <laughs> oh my god. Where did he get this? Uh, there ain't no such thing as uh, a potato sack, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh no. You should be proud, boy. You're gonna die in the line of duty. Ah, I see. Let's blow this joint! Whoa! It's a fruity flavor explosion! Oh, a cherry bomb in short. <laughs> I mean, wow. That guy was right. Ice cream really is dangerous business. Okay, here's a plan, terrorist. Wait until they're distracted, brutally murder me, then you run away and hide. Huh? Huh? Ah. Ah. Ha! What's wrong? Is that all you boys got? <laughs> no, we also got this. Let's oh. go, boys. We'll finish the job some Our other luggage. <laughs> hey! Get back here! Ah! Well, this day turned out just... Amazing! Tourists, <laughs> you were amazing! Not only did you defy the laws of gravity several times, you actually managed <laughs> to hit something with my spear! <laughs> Kid, I can tell your heart's in the right place, but could you please just get me your sheriff so I can get some real help in retrieving my luggage? Oh no, there's no sheriff on this island. It's just me, Ori Bori, the only law enforcement in town. But don't worry, I'm all you need to track those guys down. No one knows this town better than I do. Fine, if there's no other way. 
meet me here tomorrow morning, all right? <laughs> yes, ma'am! Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to find a cardboard box to sleep in since my suitcase also had my hotel reservation in it. Actually, I think I can help you with that as well. Wanna stay at my place? I got ice cream! Uh. <sighs> that hit the spot. Thanks, kid. By the way, is this your place? Oh no, it's my grandfather's. He's right over there. Hi, Pop Pop. Uh. Uh, yeah, hi, Mr. Bori. Thanks for letting me stay here. So, kid, honest question. What is up with you? Why are you <laughs> running around playing deputy? You could have gotten really hurt tonight. The Phoenix Festival. It only happens once every 100 years. When the Phoenix Ashes reappear in the Borealis Lighthouse, it's sacred to us Ouroboros that something's wrong. Criminals have been pouring into the island recently. Not only is it threatening our town, it's threatening the festival itself. And unfortunately, you may have noticed that most of us Ouroboros are kinda... Wimpy? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, since no is that a GameCube it, controller I saw? have to step up and fill the big shoes. No worry. That's actually kind of... <sighs> wow, it's way past my bedtime. We better get to sleep if we're going to stake out the flea market tomorrow morning. <sighs> Good night, partner. Ori, I just want my suitcase. I'm not your... <sighs> <sighs> this is going to be a long vacation. Yep. So boss, in summary, even though we didn't kill the kid, I think we'll learn an important lesson in the power of friendship. Duke, hit mash for me, would you? Oh! Hey, we also robberized this girl's luggage. <laughs> You got some luggage. That's fantastic. I don't need luggage. I need a dead deputy. Yeah. Come here. Don't be scared. Come here. Oh. Hi. Now, you Hi? as one leader to another, let me give you some advice. Good leadership is all about providing strong motivation. Here's an example. If you boys don't kill that deputy, I will kill you. See, you feel more motivated, right? Y yes, very. And you boys are gonna kill the deputy for me, right? Yeah, and the girl too. I like you, kid. You give a hundred and ten percent. Goonie, hot potato. <laughs> Uh. And don't come back till you've done the deed! No, no, slam the door. Come on, we practiced this. Try it again. Yes! That's how you <laughs> end a conversation! Oh. <laughs> Jerk. Come on, boys. We got a job to finish tomorrow. Hey, guys, I'm Kevin, the producer of Sunset Paradise. I'm Luke! Sit properly! We're on- oh, <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kevin, nice. the producer of Sunset Paradise. And I'm Luke, the director uh, of Sunset Paradise. Uh, if you guys um, know, Maggie <laughs> is an existing character of an, on- Wow, that was amazing. Before, and she's had her own adventures there as well. We've been working on this show for the past year in secret, while also working on our other show, Meta Runner. And we're personally oh, nice. with how it's turned out. We really wanted this show to feel like a cinematic video game. Everything from the way it's animated, to the character designs, all the way to the music. And we think we managed to achieve that. We want to give a huge thanks oh, to yeah, the incredibly talented such talented an awesome village, job the with that. community for being with Meggie on her journey. Personally, I am really grateful for what she's achieved so far. She holds a really dear place in my heart. She is a character that we created about four or five years ago, um, and she's like just grown up in her own ways, even starting off as a Nintendo character. <coughs> <laughs> We're actually working on the rest of the season right now alongside some other shows. And while that's in production, we actually have something very special to share with you guys. If you've noticed, Luke's actually been wearing one piece of this merch. It's Maggie's beanie. Because if you want to be just like Maggie, you can go to Maggie mode. 
<laughs> it's an actual replica of the beanie. I think it looks pretty cool. Like, look at that material. Be just like Meggy. Also with that, we have this Meggy small bean plush toy. She's wearing her Sunset Paradise outfit. It's also a keychain as well, so you can actually hang it off your bags and stuff. Yeah, it's really neat. I'll put it with your bean. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can get all of this over at oh. sunsetparadise.store. Uh, it is in limited stock though, and they are going to sell really, really fast. So please be sure to check it out. And all merchandise sold goes directly for the production of more shows. We hope you look forward to the rest of the season. Thank you guys very much for watching. Bye. <laughs> oh man. Luke and Kevin did such a good job on this. From the animation and like the expressions on the characters and the music and the characters themselves. Wow, I cannot wait to watch the most the rest of the series. I cannot wait. Wow, so yeah, I honestly I cannot wait to watch the rest of these ser this series. So hey guys, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.